The Rock is set to join the DC Universe, and Johnson is definitely putting up a fight just the way his character Black Adam would. The actor was why Black Adam finally got his own solo movie debut. Recently, Dwayne Johnson revealed some interesting information about why Shazam and Black Adam didn't make their cinematic debut together, and in this video, we'll tell you all about it. Let's get started. First off, here's what The Rock said. On Thursday, The Rock got asked about his upcoming film by Vanity Fair, and while talking about it, he had some other details to share as well, and were actually very shocked to know what he did to make Shazam and Black Adam be two different movies. The actor revealed that when the film's first draft arrived, it was a combination of Shazam and Black Adam. The movie had two origin stories. He continued saying that, at the time, the goal was to keep two origin stories, so it wasn't much of a shock for anyone. But when he read the script himself, he knew in his gut that this movie shouldn't be made this way, because if there's a double story in it, they'll be doing Black Adam an incredible disservice. According to the actor, if the movie had gone like that, it would have been fine for Shazam, but for Black Adam, it wasn't a good idea. Johnson also revealed that after he had this thought, he went on to share his idea with the studio executives. The actor said that he made it clear that some of his opinions must be heard. According to the actor, his argument was that such ideas are unpopular because everyone was like, the script is excellent, so let's make a movie. And that's when he suggested that DCU should make Shazam in its own tone and separate it from Black Adam. The discussion went on for a while and finally he won the argument. Also, Dwayne says that the connection was much more than what ifs. Apparently, the actor was supposed to play the role of Shazam, but later he announced on his Twitter that he'd be appearing as Black Adam, the anti-hero with a similar power set but a nasty attitude. DC did take up the actor's advice, and in 2019, Shazam was released. But we didn't get to see The Rock playing the role. Instead, it was Zachary Levi who appeared in the movie. Fans still have those what-if questions about Dwayne playing Shazam. After all, everyone was hoping for him to appear as the hero. But according to the star, the connection is more than a series of what-ifs. As he himself made the producers go with the idea of making two movies, he was probably the one to withdraw from the role. It looks like The Rock loved Black Adam way too much, and that's why he was so in for it. Not just that, he had given hints about something like this. If we went back in 2017, we might have missed some hints that The Rock gave out regarding this matter. Back then, the actor posted on his Instagram that he had a very cool strategic meeting with the producers. Not just that, he also wrote that he's a hardcore DC fan, and because of that, he gets a real sense of the tonal shifts and developments that would be included in the upcoming movies. Not just that, he had also said that all this stuff has him fired up. He had also posted that something that the DC fans have been waiting for will be coming soon. In fact, he used words like hope, optimism, and fun for the most ruthless anti-hero ever. At the time, the actor had asked the fans to stay ready for the DC universe. And we think it was a good idea coming from Dwayne. In the comics, both Black Adam and Shazam are shown as enemies, even though they had received powers from the same wizard. Not just that, the comic had both characters' origin stories, so putting both of them in the same movie made a lot of sense, but for Dwayne, it wasn't the vision of the actor. And from our point of view, the decision might have actually been a good one and would only add up to Black Adam's popularity. First of all, fans kind of knew about Shazam's backstory, and giving him all the highlights he deserved was a great thing to do. Because he was the hero, it was obvious that fans would have wanted him to be the top one. With the film focusing only on him, they made sure that the path for Black Adam was clear. Not just that, the appropriate amount of time between the two movies is is also perfect. Now, if we have a look at the upcoming film, the timing is excellent, and fans are entirely focused on knowing more and more about Black Adam himself. At the moment, Shazam isn't a matter of focus, and that was the goal. And most importantly, we're getting a new face as Shazam this time, who gets the film bonus points already. The thing about films featuring both heroes and anti-heroes is that fans keep their main focus on the hero, no matter how sexy, handsome, or intelligent the anti-hero is. Because, obviously, that's the reason why the villain exists. The same thing would have happened if the two were put on the same project, and it would have been unfair to Johnson's character. So, we think the idea was great, and it's actually perfect that we're getting a separate movie about the anti-hero. And here's why the hype is real. First of all, we believe that, like Dwayne, the character also breaks all the rules. For years, DCU had tried to cash in on superheroes about whom we know everything by heart. And honestly, 
sometimes it actually does work, laughs in Batman, but this would be the first time that they finally explore other characters who aren't part of the Justice League. If you ask us, we really don't love watching the same five guys save the city again and again. We, as fans, needed something new, something more on the other side of the picture, the side they keep in the dark and never bother to show us properly, and that's exactly what we're getting with Black Adam. He's somewhat of a brand new character for fans, because honestly speaking, even we didn't know him very well when the name was revealed for the first time. The only ones who are actually aware of every itty bitty detail of the character are the fans who read the 90s comics. So this means that this new character is generally new to the public and isn't a recycled one. In fact, most people actually argue that he's much more than just a villain. Even though Black Adam's moral code can't be considered very moral, he's still quite a redeemable character because of his traumatic past. Fans love that even if he's evil, the triggering factors behind it were all traumatic events, making them believe that Black Adam should get another chance. Now, in other related news, here's when we'll get to watch Black Adam. Luckily, Black Adam isn't one of those movies that keeps getting delayed again and again. Well, not entirely, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt because we already have an official release date. Apparently, at the moment, the film is scheduled to be released on the 21st of October, 2022. Originally, it was supposed to be released in December last year, but COVID forced them to abandon the plans. Anyways, now it's finally on the way, so get ready. And here's what we know about the cast. Dwayne definitely appears in the upcoming movie, but besides him, the movie will be featuring several other classic DC characters. For example, example, Noah Centineo will appear as Shazam. Not just that, some other actors who are set to be a part of the movie include Sarah Shahi, Aldis Hodge, Pierce Bronznan, and Quintessa Swindell. Along with them, James Kusadi Moyer, Marwan Kanzari, Uli Latukafu, Bodhi Sambongui, and Mo Ammer will also be joining the fantastic cast for the upcoming movie. Lastly, this is when the plot is set. As per the reports, Black Adam will be set in the present day, because technically, it's a sequel to Shazam. So, Obviously, it has to happen in the modern world, because the events we'll see in Black Adam all happened after the events of Shazam. Not just that, it's also reported that some of the scenes will be set about 5,000 years ago. This would be during the time when Kondok was in full glory. We think that these scenes would be flashbacks, but whose flashbacks? That's a whole new discussion, because after all, Shazam and a few other characters also share a similar story as Black Adam. It's also possible that we'll get to see some of the past wars and the fall of Kondok. But for the most part, it's going to be a modern day take on the character. And no, Black Adam won't entirely be an evil guy this time. So hold tight and be patient. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Johnson's take on making two films? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching because we'll be back with more amazing content soon.